if you use this title pack, you have to talk like this, just like this, and this facial expression, just like this, this warm. How's it going people? Welcome back to another new video and thank you for tuning in again. So today, I'm kind of excited because I'm here to introduce you guys something helpful. I mean something that can boost our creativity, something that we, I mean filmmaker, content creator, whatever it is, might need. The intro that you saw, if you have that something, you can make it too. So today, what I'm going to talk about is motion graphics in Premiere Pro. Alright, as I said, this video is sponsored by Digital Products 669. They make cool and high quality Adobe Apple templates, which means Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro plugins. They have transitions, titles, and other creative digital assets, which is very powerful for making videos. The cool thing is they make those digital assets focused on content creating on such as YouTube, Instagram, maybe TikTok. Well, honestly, I'm not a big fan of of transition templates but I was kind of interested in that title pack I mean motion graphics because I use that a lot in my videos you know that so they send me the product to test and review today let me talk about if it's really worth paying $35 and if so how does it work for you so if you download the whole pack you'll get nine genres such as modern broadcast vintage wedding cartoon and goes on and in total you can get over 200 motion graphic templates well 200 and each of them is very unique and creative definitely everything is not my favorite probably i'm not going to use wedding or broadcast that much but it's a good thing there are so many options so that so many people can find their favorite and you can use different genres scene by scene even though it's the same genre the move the shape and details are different so i believe you also can find your favorite so actually today all of motion graphics i'm using is from this pack you know, you could use just normal techers when you make videos, which I do, it'll work. But to me, using just a normal techers through video is kind of dull. You know, I use motion graphics a lot in my gear review series, the gears and color grading series, the scenes. They can animate the techers easily and fast, basically, you don't do anything. You just drag it on timeline, which I'll explain later. If you use them properly, they're gonna make your videos look much more better. This allows you to boost your creativity without spending tons of time, energy, and money. You can do like this, showing the background music with them, or showing where you are on the story timeline with them. Also, you can make original intro with them, as I did. You can decorate your videos spending hours on After Effects. The most amazing thing I found as I was editing with this title pack is you can change every single detail of them. For example, this is retro number 9, and the original one is like this, but the control tab is just crazy. Of course, you can change the duration, the scale, and the width, the basic adjustment. Also, you can change the font, and the size, and the space between letters, each of them. And we have one more. In here, you can change every single colors of this template. So this text 1A is for this letter, and text 1B is for the shadow of it. And it goes on, you have text 2A and 2B, 3A and 3B, and it's not over yet. We have color 1, 2, 3, 4 and background color. Well, you can change this background color to whatever you want, or you can remove it. So when this motion graphic comes in, there are some colors, and you can change all of them by using controls. Absolutely, this control tab is so powerful. So each of template in this title pack has a potential to become a different thing. Depends on how you use it. You can use it straight from a pack or you can edit it in your way. This title pack has more than 200 motion graphic templates, but actually the possibility, the potential is more than that. You know, you can mix them and make original templates. Like we got vintage number three and four, both of them look good, but don't you want to give it some originality? So I deleted some letters in vintage number three because I just wanted to use only this cool logo and adjusted the detail of them and make them together. Wow, you can make your original template by using them. Of course, you cannot sell it. Well, I didn't change every single detail of them, so you can make a totally different one. Well, we got over 200 templates and everything allows you to do detailed editing. Also, you can mix them, means the creative possibility is up to you. Okay, so quickly, let me show you guys my favorite in this title pack. Number one is absolutely vintage. Come on, it looks so cool. It just feels something like a classic old school bar or some whiskey like a 
Jack Daniels old number seven. I just like it. Number two is minimal. Well, this is solid and very clean. It has modern and nature vibes. If you know what I mean? Like uh, the title comes in and hello. Thanks for coming back to the channel. Today, I'd like to show you guys three important tips for landscape photography. If you use this title pack, you have to talk like this, just like this, and this facial expression, just like this, this warm. Well, everything looks good, but those two are my top two favorite. But vintage and minimal, I wish I had more of those. Okay, so now you want it? Let me show you how to. So first, go to description below, and there are two links. One of them is to this title pack, and another one is for subscription to whole assets, including titles, video templates, and stock photos, and music, and other many creative assets. This time, I use a title pack. So hit the link below and download it. So once you download it, if you're a Mac user, go to Users, Library, Applications, Support, Adobe, Common, Motion Graphic Template. And if you're using Windows, this is your way. So once you found your motion graphic template file on your computer, open the title pack you just downloaded and move only this file to motion graphic template file on your computer. And open up Premiere Pro and go to Essential Graphics and now you are ready to go. You know, when I started making videos, I tried a lot of free motion graphics templates, but none of those had a good quality. It was just a text which moves a little bit. And I didn't want to spend tons of time on creating those motion graphics from zero because I wasn't trying to be animator, I was trying to be filmmaker. I wanted to use my 100% time for making videos, so I bought motion graphic templates back then, paying money for them. Yes, sometimes money solves the problem, including digital assets or the actual gear. You can focus on what you really should do, such as writing, shooting, and editing instead of spending a year to learn how to create motion graphics from zero on After Effects. Now, if you want to be an animator, don't buy it. Use your time as much as possible on learning how to create motion graphics. But if you want to be a filmmaker doing all those writing, shooting, editing by yourself, I think it's worth paying money for those motion graphics to save your time and energy for what you really should do and for what you really love to do. Especially the one I introduced this time. It has great and legit quality and the choice. This potential is so huge. It'll give you a good start as a filmmaker and content creator. Me, I think I'm gonna keep using some of this title pack. Like vintage, I really love that. 35 bucks. 35 bucks can save your time. Save your time and use your time for your passion. That's sometimes what I do. Okay, this is it. If you have any questions, thoughts, don't hesitate to leave in the comment below. So today's video is pretty much it, and thank you for watching this video. If you like this one, show me a thumb and then hit the subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. been a while to say those lines so I kind of forgot some of them anyway uh, I'm gonna you know post two more vlogs in this month I'm in 2020 and at the last I am planning to drop the you know, documentary film not documentary film just a you know vlog you know great vlog just not not a casual vlog it's a good vlog I'm gonna post good vlog at the end of this year. So that's gonna be my last work in 2020. Ah, see you guys.